you know who reported the case? Can I just ask you all to give them some space because you also have kids lah. The wildlife management team, we are responsible and we manage the wildlife situation in Singapore. As part of our daily works, we do receive calls of animals who are in distress or which are found in urban areas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So upon receiving the call, our team of contractors will respond and rescue the animal and bring them here over to the centre of wildlife rehab. What do we so, have here? Yeah, so this morning, our ARC received a call from a member of public. Here at the Centre for Wildlife Rehabilitation, we received over 1,500 wildlife that were rescued from different parts of Singapore. If our wildlife management team deemed that these animals need further veterinary attention, then they will actually send the animals over to us. So usually what we would do is we would check on the animals upon uh, admission into CWR. Oh, Looks quite good actually. Your eyes okay also. Mm -hmm. Nice and bright. This guy is actually looks generally healthy, but just in case, we're going to take an X-ray of him so that we can check for any potentially internal injuries such as fractures. So the this thing looks fine. Mm. Um, on X-ray, I don't see any obvious fractures. If we find something suspicious, we might need to do further diagnostics or testing. If the animal has any injuries or any suspicious uh, signs of disease that we might need to treat, then they might go through a period of rehabilitation. Okay, chill, 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 chill. No, oh, so swollen. Alright, buddy. Okay, okay. I know, I know, I know. It's annoying. Just check your wings. Okay, we're done. So, because this bird had a wing fracture, which is obviously a very painful injury, so I'm giving him fluids as well as an antibiotics to cover in case of any infection. With our rehabilitation, it's a uh, progress. So the first day, they'll be kept indoors in much smaller cages. During this time, there's a lot of close monitoring of them. When they get better, then we will move them to outdoor cages where they're potentially bigger and they're more naturalistic. So this is actually our rehabilitation enclosure for civet cats. So as you can see right now, he's actually also coming down because he's curious about the noise, which is quite unnatural for them. Right now, we had actually had to hand raise them and then slowly train them to regain the natural behaviours that they require to survive in the wild. We're just putting different like dining places to hide the food. We we'll try and change it up every now and then. So we actually have to do this every day so that in the wild, that's exactly what they'll be doing to find food for themselves. Areas, as well as on the, the bridge. We need to make sure that all the wildlife that we release are fit to survive in the wild. Unfortunately, not all wildlife can reach that stage. Dealing with public expectations is also a challenge because people seem to assume that you can treat a wildlife like your own pet. But at the end of the day, we prioritise their welfare and we know that we cannot keep these animals in captivity for too long. So our main uh, consideration when we are releasing these animals are public safety and finding a suitable habitat. When they first encounter wildlife, there are a few things to keep in mind. First is to give the animal as much space as possible. Do not use flash photography as well. Next is do not feed animals because they will start to lose their natural ability to forage or find food by themselves. If the member of public require any form of assistance, they can give our Animal Response Centre a call. To me, I felt that rescuing animals and releasing them back into the wild allows the future generation, including my son, to be able to see this animal in the wild in the future. Never did I dream that I would be doing wildlife in Singapore because Singapore is so small, we are so urbanised, but actually we do have a thriving ecosystem of native wildlife. I think if people can learn to better coexist with these wildlife, that would be the dream for us to actually receive fewer animals here. Yeah. <laughs>